point favorites against the 49ers. It's a classic strength versus strength matchup with Patrick Mahomes' offense facing off against the Niners' tough defense. So, Shannon, which way are you leaning so far? I'm leaning. I'm leaning. Where are you going? Chiefs. My homeboy. Okay. Because I trust my homeboy. I trust him. I, sure. I, I got the utmost confidence in him because if you could do what he did yesterday, Skip, you know it was 17 at the time of kickoff. They say the windshield put it down to five, mm. and he's spinning the ball like that. Mm. Can you imagine on a nice, brisk February Miami. night in Miami, it's going to probably be 75, 80 degrees, what he can do? Mm. It might be too different, no. actually. <laughs> Look, think about it. Two weeks, eight touchdown passes, one rush, zero interception. Very careful with the football. Mm. Even though he throws it like it. So we ain't got no problem, Skip. You know, some teams like, well, we want to run it. We throw it. Mahomes, throw it 50, throw it 60 times. What concerns me about them, Skip, is that they don't have a back that can run time off the clock. Mm. And if you saw yesterday when they got up to the big lead, they really had to throw the ball, swing passes, a lot of, you know, stuff like that to try to, uh, um, um, take the air out of the game. But the 49ers are for real. The thing that concern, the, of all the things that concern me, 49ers are very talented. The thing that concern me the most, Skip, Chiefs defense. Mm. They make too many bonehead plays that get you beat. Mm. You jump outside four times and give people first down, they did. you get beat. You go illegal hands to the face, 15 yards, you get beat. It's third and 22. I just need to know, Breland, why the hell are you playing bump coverage? You're, Situa you're not bump, you're playing grab coverage, right? Skip, it's situational football. If they throw the ball and complete a 10-yard or 12-yard pass, mm -hmm. so what? They still got fourth and 10. Mm. The only thing that can give them a first down, you gave them a first down on a seven-yard route because you were holding. They don't, they, 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 they make dumb plays. Dumb play, the bigger the game, dumb plays get you beat. Now, I thought they would look D4 lining up offside. I thought they had gotten out of that, Skip. I thought jumping off sides last year, they learned their lesson. Mm. But D, D Ford's now 49. 49. Clearly, yeah. clearly, clearly they did. Mm. So that's the thing that concerns me most is the mistakes that the defense, because if I'm not mistaken, Skip, all the penalties came from the defense side of the football. You get beat. You get beat, you play that like that in a game of this mm -hmm. magnitude, the Super mm. Bowl. Yeah. So now you're sort of wavering. You're on the fence the a little bit. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to be shocked by. Mm. If this game is not in the mid-70s, it might be the highest-scoring game ever. I can see a situation, Skip, this is a 45-38, a 45-42 ball game because mm. both of these offenses are explosive. Mm. So you won two Super Bowls playing for a coach named Shanahan. Yeah. His name was Mike Shanahan. Am yeah. I right about that? Very. Mike Shanahan is now the de facto head coach, the unofficial head coach of the 49ers. He helps you out could, a lot. You could say he's the assistant <laughs> head coach if you want to go that far. <laughs> but game plans, he is contributing heavily to. Mm -hmm. His son is a chip off that old block because he's taken it. He might even have taken it up a notch mm -hmm. in creativity, yeah. cleverness, yes. guts, uh -huh. how, how you finesse teams, and then how you overpower teams. Mm -hmm. Because one thing I know about this matchup, the 49ers are the more physical football Oh, absolutely. Teams. Oh, absolutely, are. yes. Andy Reid has never had what I would call a physical football team. Mm. I thought their defense played pretty physically yesterday, right. but I still wouldn't consider it nah. a physical defense. No. The 49ers will get after you in both trenches. I think they're a little better in both trenches. That's just me because their offensive line, nobody talks about it. It just steamrolls people. It blows people off the ball with with almost what looks like rage to me, where they just delight in it after a while, and they are knocking people four and five yards off the football. And what that does, Skip, because they can run the ball so well, it slows down the pass rush, because you're not going to be running up the field, and there's a lane, and there's most going for 20 yards. That And that's what slows them down. Green Bay, the Smith was neutralized. The Smith boys were neutralized, yeah. because they're trying to catch and try to shed somebody to make a tackle. How can I get up the field when I got a, a tight end or fullback or offensive lineman in my chest and here come, the, here come uh, uh, Mostert running downhill? That's what makes them so good in all areas because they can run it so well. Defensive linemen can't just pin their ears back and say, okay, we're going to get the quarterback. Like right. the 49ers started doing yesterday once they realized the Packers had gotten down and they weren't going to run the football. Mm. All of a sudden, Bosa, Armstead, those guys started to eat. Okay, so to your point, Let's see, Patrick Mahomes or Jimmy Garoppolo? <laughs>
Mahomes, Garoppolo. I think I'll go Mahomes. Think so. But I'm still leaning 49ers yeah. because of all the other factors in the football game. If it degenerates to those two going at it, throw for throw, you're going to win this game. If the 49ers can play 49er football, and if they can put the heat on Patrick Mahomes that Tennessee failed to put on because they the, the idiotic three-man rushes. <laughs> but this is a four-man rush often, sometimes yeah. five, but it's four, and they are a really good four. Yeah. They can often get home with four. Yes. They harassed and finally just befuddled Aaron Rodgers yesterday because he's not sure where the next guy's coming right. from. And I don't think Aaron has the stomach to step into a lot of throws into that kind of pass right. rush. So Mahomes is going to get bothered early in this game and often in this game in ways he was not bothered by the Tennessee Titans. Right. So if you got that on your side and then you've got that zone and outside zone running game where you're just here and there right. and here and there and you can pound it and control the clock mm -hmm. and basically keep Jimmy G out of the game. Yeah. I think you got a chance. Now, Jimmy G's still got a big arm. He's sort of like Ryan he make, Tannehill. He can make throws. He can make Skip. some throws. He's going to have to make a few more than he did yesterday. And the thing was, Skip, if you remember late in the ball game, even though they were running the ball to take more time off the clock, Jimmy G had to throw some passes. Hmm. He completed yeah. one to uh, George Kittle. Kittle. That was a huge one. It was, that was his best throw of the game, yes. or biggest throw of the right. game. Right. So, yeah, he's going to have to make some throws. But the thing is, but you don't, you don't because they don't haven't come into a play this, this uh, playoffs, Emmanuel Sanders and Debo Samuels and those guys can still make plays now. Don't underestimate them because they've been the one thing that you must do, Skip. If you play in the West Coast offense and you play receiver, you got to block. They're the best blocking receivers in all of football. Now, I've been, I remember times when I was playing for Kyle's father, Mike, that Mike didn't think the receivers were physical enough in the run game. And we go 9 on 7. Now, you know what 9 on 7 is. There is no threat or no pass. Mm -hmm. Mike says, okay, you didn't want to block, you didn't want to block on Sunday. I'm gonna see if you're gonna block today. Mm. Because there's no threat in the pass, and you're gonna have to dig the safeties out. Okay. You're gonna have to block those corners. So you look at Emmanuel Sanders, you look at Debo Samuels, you look at the Samuels, you look at those receivers. Anytime you run the football for 200 plus yards, your receivers are getting after people. Mm. So what did Kittle say on ESPN last night after the game about Emmanuel Sanders? He got one target caught no balls in the game. This is Emmanuel Sanders. Yes. How many? There'd be games in Denver where he'd catch, I don't know, 10, 5, 12. 112. Right? He went, for, he went yeah. for over 100 against uh -huh. the Patriots in the championship game. Okay, got it. Kittle said that Emmanuel was back in the locker room crowing about all the good blocks he had made. Yes. <laughs> because it has been instilled in those receivers. They cannot be diva receivers. Ooh. We don't have Odell going here. We don't, we don't have Odell versus Jarvis here for who gets the most targets and balls. We got who threw the best blocks. That says a lot. And, and Kittle is, <laughs> you know, again. Kittle, Skip, I watched him yesterday. He did a number on the Smith boys. He did. Skip, he did a number. Mm -hmm. There's no, Listen, he's the best complete tight end in football. He's the most complete tight end in football. He might be the most complete tight end. He might even be a better blocker than Gronk, Skip. If you watch him, his hand placement, the way he steps and set that edge, listen, you talk not what my cup of tea. You know, I did a cup of tea the game, mm. did it? But I was trying to get out like a scout on a new when, route. When it was time to block, you were drinking a cup of yeah, tea. Yeah, yeah, you know, right? I, hey, <laughs> that wasn't my yeah. cup of tea. Yeah. They normally put me on backside. Yeah. They let Dwayne Carswell house, yeah. we call him. You handle that stuff front side. Oh, okay. I got the back over here. Come see me a little later in the fourth quarter. But you, you were big play shape. Yeah. You had to make that one Skip, big play. You watch if this is clinic, this mm -hmm. is textbook. The way he steps and the way he sets and gets his hands inside and turns that shoulder and drives up field is a thing of beauty. Mm. Kittle is for real. Well, I wasn't sure Raheem Mostert was for real because he <laughs> led this team in special teams tackles also. Yeah, he's a gunner. He's a gunner. Yes. He's a special teams player. <laughs> but he also led this team in rushing, not by a lot, but by some. Right. And yesterday, he really led it in rushing because he got 29 carries, and I didn't think a 180-pounder could hold up with... That's a lot of That's a lot, a, a lot of carries. A lot of carries. He's a sore young man. For a man. second there, I thought our good friend OED, he started like, because he said, I, well, I'm not, wor I'm not worried about Henry getting 248. <laughs> it wasn't Henry you should have been worried about. It, it was Mostert. It was Mostert. <laughs> that first was player with 220 and four touchdowns. That is right. the first with and, the four and, touchdowns. And, and I think he and Eric are now the only two to go 220 plus in a right. playoff game. Right. I think right. so. Yeah. yeah. But he got four touchdowns four. off of his. He was, he, you know, Eric's numbers came against my Dallas Cowboys. <laughs> I know you haven't forgotten. But he was, uh, I was there. But, <laughs> but guess what, Skip? 
West Coast offense against West Coast offense. Yep. Because that's where Andy cut his teeth. He runs that. Kyle Shanahan runs the West Coast. It's going to be a thing of beauty. Hey, I'm going to be shocked. This is a fascinating matchup. Again, what's our spread now? Point what, and a half. One and a half. I wonder, okay. What's the over-under? I bet you the over-under at least 60. I think it was around high 50s. I, it's got to be because yep. they know what's coming. It's coming, Skip. Well, would you believe there's never been a Super Bowl spread that ended at Pick'em? Like at like okay. game time, it was Pick'em. I think this one might, might have a shot. Might. Huh. might have a shot. That's a good point. Yeah. yeah. So 25 years for San Francisco since they've won 50 for the Chiefs. I mean, these fan bases, it's mm. going to be wild in Miami. It's gonna be, it's, I'm looking forward to it. It is a fascinating matchup. It really it is. is. Yep. It really is. Okay, guys, uh, what did Conor McGregor Woo. prove? Saturday night with his first round TKO. Uh, if you blink, you might have missed it. We'll discuss next. <laughs>